This is Changtai Yangtze River Bridge. The construction of the Changtai Yangtze River Bridge once again showcases the latest achievements of China's modern industrial innovation to the world. The bridge, whose construction started in September 2019, is taking a step forward when it comes to innovation in materials, design, structure, equipment and building technology. Yangtze Delta River is one of the most prosperous areas in China and the world. And to improve the economic development and improve connectivity throughout the region, we're going to visit one of the most ambitious projects nowadays in this region. I'm talking about the Changtai Bridge that is just behind me. It's still under construction. When completed, it will be the longest cable state bridge in the whole world. That is a big accomplishment that will help the connectivity throughout the regions. So in a few minutes, we're going to have the chance to go to the very top of that tower. How high are we going? I have to say I'm terrified to see how is the evolution of this huge project. The structure consists of a mixed bridge designed with a two arc bridges and one cable stay bridge, which upon its construction will be the world's largest span cable stay bridge for both highway and railway use. The building standards are high. The Changtai Yangtze River Bridge is being constructed by China Railway Bridge Bureau, and it starts from Taizhou City, crosses the main channel of the Yangtze River, and it ends in Shangzhou City. We're now using one of the construction elevators to go to the first stage of this bridge. We need to follow all the safety procedures. We need to wear a helmet. I'm assuming this is a very safe elevator to use. But we'll try to get closer to some of the most important parts of this project to see the evolution of this construction. now in one of the main towers. This is the middle area of this tower. You can tell this section of the bridge is being built independently. It's not getting connected yet to the other part of the bridge that you can see behind me. There is a part of the bridge that is still yet to be completed. This bridge is going to connect two major centers here at the Yangtze River area. On one side we have Changzhou City and the other side we have Taizhou City. The design height of the Changtai Yangtze River Bridge Tower is over 340 meters, making it the world's tallest highway and railway bridge tower. This project effectively solved the problems of heavy lifting capacity, balance control and high position accuracy using the latest building technology available with the help of a huge tower crane. This crane is currently the world's largest horizontal arm self-elevating tower crane, helping with construction difficulties such as heavy lifting components, construction height and large operating span, also ensuring the safety and efficiency of the construction. The construction scale of the bridge is enormous. It is the first three-in-one cross-river bridge on the Yangtze River, with a six-lane expressway on the upper deck and a design speed of 100 km per hour. 
The upstream side of the lower deck is arranged in a two-tracked intercity railway and the downstream side of the lower deck is arranged as a four-lane first-class highway with a design speed of 80 km per hour. The design concept is advanced. The main waterway bridge of this river crossing channel is a cable stay bridge with a main span of 1,176 meters, while both Tianjin Zhou Channel Bridge and Luanzhou Channel Bridge use a steel truss arc bridge with a main span of 388 meters. This project is very ambitious. It's a two decks bridge. We are right now at the lower deck that is designed to carry a four lane first class highway. And on the other side, we're going to have a railway that will connect both cities at a speed of up to 200 kilometers per hour. The construction difficulty is extremely high. The Yangtze River is a primary waterway, and shipping in the Jiangsu section is particularly busy every single day. Multiple ships flow along the waterway, entering and exiting the port area, so the bridge construction operation involves frequent ship activity, but also frequent occurrence of severe weather, such as typhoons, cold waves, and heavy fog. The construction of this kind of mega project is not easy at all, especially in this part of China, where many natural phenomena are occurring throughout the year. Even windy storms like the one we are having right now are part of this project all the time but the project doesn't stop. You can still see workers behind me are still working really hard on the construction of this bridge. The deadline is 2025, so they definitely need to work day and night to finish this mega project.这座桥是世界上跨度最大的斜拉桥,所以它的主桥基础也是最大的。它的平面面积大概是五千四百平方,相当于十三个来球场的大桥。由于这个捏土层较厚,所以它下沉有点困难,所以说和那个国内的厂
so there's nothing to worry about. A few moments later. <laughs> How high are we going? So there's nothing to worry about. Going up and going up like non-stop and I'm just looking up <laughs> and it's just like he's still stopping. That is moving. I mean, how many times in life do you have the chance to reach the top of a tower in the construction of a bridge at 350 meters on a platform that was recently built to complete this bridge? And uh, I have to say, I'm terrified. I mean, it's very high altitude and. Uh, there are many safety measures, but you can actually hear the wind and feel the wind at this point. This is a very solid tower, of course, but still feels uh, quiet, terrifying. It's not until you reach a point like this, the highest point of this tower that is part of this bridge, when you realize the magnitude of these kind of projects. You can see from here, actually, not too much because right now it's raining and it's a little bit foggy around, but you can kind of tell the distances and all the areas that this bridge is covering. You can see also the huge cranes that they're using to build up this bridge. They're using some of the latest technologies and actually some technologies needed to be created or adapted to this kind of bridge because of the dimensions, the altitude and the distances that this bridge needs to cover. So innovation is again a keyword for this project. The construction of these kind of massive structures require massive equipment and vehicles like those ones behind me. These vehicles must be capable to lift and carry equipment and materials of tons of weight. They're really big. It's a 32 wheels car that can, that can take very heavy materials and transport them from one side to the other in this bridge. Right now, we are near the Arc Bridge, one of the two Arcs bridges that are part of the whole bridge project that is connecting both cities. And you can tell basically this area is almost completed. They are just finishing the main towers and the junction of the two Arcs for this Arc Bridge. I think once this project is completed, it's going to look really amazing. Gotta come back to see how it looks like afterwards. now at the end of one of the sides of the two arc bridges that is part of this massive project. There's just a few meters separating us from the other end. Soon this part will be attached to the other side and the whole bridge will be connected. And the total length for this arc bridge is 388 meters. Every single part of this project is absolutely outstanding. The construction of the Chantai Yangtze River Bridge 
implied the implementation of different techniques, materials and technologies, proving one more time the innovation of the building methods here in China. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.